blue comparison video. Got the new 2014 Sportsman 570. Just picked it up. Got some wheels and tires on it. We also got the 2011 Sportsman 500 that I got a few years back. It's got the original stock tires and wheels on it. But I'm just going to kind of go over the comparison, the difference between the two. Um, right off the bat, you can see that the uh, the 14 cargo thing is a little bit better. I think in uh, 2012 they started putting these kinds on, uh, which is actually just a it's molded right into the fenders <clears throat> to where on the inside you got all the storage and all that uh, in there where the 2011 the first year they came out with this body style for the sportsman um, or the new body style I should say is all integrated into the top thing granted I got all my stuff in there but um, this whole piece is lock and, uh, lock and ride that Polaris has. You can take that right off and then underneath there is, is the same as that. Uh, but that's one difference and one thing that I did notice is that if you look at the two forward, it is a little bit lower so that when, you, uh, when you're looking over the front there, uh, it's a little bit better sight um, to come down. I think if you're looking up into uh, into some uh, terrain or something like that so you, know, you look up like this or whatever to see what you're going over uh, and that's that compared to 2011 which is a little higher I got the push bar on there still uh, too but um, it's a little bit higher now the other thing is the winch got a winch on both of them I also got a little accessory lights for the bar there, um, but uh, they're pretty much the same on both sides. Uh, they did update it a little bit with the design of it, I should say. Uh, this one has got the winch down towards the bottom, and uh, I don't have any extra lights on this one, obviously. Uh, but this is a little more rounded off, a little more cooler and all that, but still the same. Uh, the shifter handle's a little bit more updated, or this one's a little bit rounded off and all that. Uh, other thing is, is the body panels on the side are a little, a little different. Same color on the 14. And the bigger thing that I noticed is that the seat itself, um, I read about it before I bought it, but it is skinnier from there compared to the old one. Um, but I have to say that it sits up a lot higher too. So if you get, I, mean, I don't know if I can really compare them this way or not, but uh, it is up higher. You sit way higher. Um, also, I, my opinion is this seat is so much more comfortable than that one. Uh, this one is nice and soft and cushy. And this one is more harder. It's got more stiffer, more denser uh, foam in there. As you can see, the way it's redesigned, almost more like a sport ATV, uh, where it's a little bit higher up in here compared to the other one, which is more down, more sits down a little bit. Um, to be honest with you, as of right now, I really haven't rid driven the 14 too much. But the, uh, I prefer the 2011 seat. It's just a little more comfy. Um, I don't know, we'll have to see. The other thing I noticed is the body panels. If you look there, how they come down underneath the, uh, the lights there, compared to this one, a little bit different. A little bit less. The other thing is, is right in here, on the 11, it's a little bit wider where they're more raised up now, more defined with more like higher crisper lines there. And uh, that seems like it's a little bit skinnier compared to that side. A little redesign, maybe it's because of this little indentation there. That's one that's more, less defined, more smooth. I put the Polaris accessory hand guards on it. 
a little bit nicer. It's got a metal thing in the top here compared to these other ones. I think they're a little bit the cheaper version or whatever. They come with the plastic on there. Um, another thing you notice right off the bat since it's fuel injected, the 11 is the carburetor, so it's got a choke where the 14 doesn't have it. Obviously missing. Don't need a choke with fuel injection. Still have the the thing in the back there, the, uh, the storage. That's still there, and pretty much everything else is the same. And that's pretty much everything that I can see is different. Um, the wheels and tires I put on it is ITP SS 212s uh, with the Maxxis Bighorn 2.0s, 26, um, 26, 11, 12s. And uh, I haven't really gotten it out at all, uh, but man, I like the way those look. Definitely gives it a bigger stance. It's way, way up higher. A lot more ground clearance compared to the 11. Because those tires that I measured, they say 25 on them, on the stock ones, but they really measure like 24. So, they've been all right. I've never had gotten stuck too bad where it wasn't my fault anyway. But really worn at all too much got about 500 miles on this uh, I don't do a whole lot of road riding but when I do and they both have winches this one's got a 3500 winch Polaris winch and this one's got the brand new 2500 HD winch on it. I put that in myself took me about an hour and a half never done it before um, but you got to uh, you know, route the wires and all that other stuff. Now again, my own, only my opinion, but the other thing that they did change was they put the battery right in front of the motor, right in between the wheels, where it's behind, uh, behind the seat, underneath the seat, up tucked way up under, which really isn't another great spot, but the thing I'm thinking is, you know, getting under water or submerging in water, you know, that's gonna, is it gonna hurt the battery? I don't know. I'm sure Polaris researched that and, and all that. I hope it's not gonna cause a big issue. Uh, the engine itself is completely different. It doesn't have the, uh, the uh, dry sump that used to be here. Because it is a totally different engine. There's the dry sump oil for the motor. And then the oil filter's there, right here, compared to over in the front. You can see it right there, through there. If I can get it to focus, maybe I'll come over here. There it is, right down in there. So, but the motor's totally different. It hasn't even been broken in yet. Literally brought it back home the other day. It's got pretty much 1.2 hours on it. So 48 hours till maintenance, and one mile. So pretty nice though. Definitely is a lot higher sitting on the seat. But for anybody who cares, I figured I'd do a little comparison video of what the new stuff from the 14 is going to look like, or what it is looking like. And that's it. Definitely love Polaris. Never had an issue with this 11, ever. Highly recommended. Thanks for watching, guys. Have a good day.